so I hope you're well and having the most incredible day as always welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are doing well in today's video we are going to be doing my what I got for Christmas book edition if you guys didn't see in my last video I did my whole what I got for Christmas I do it every single year and this year I thought I would do it a little bit different because I know some of you guys aren't necessarily interested in books or anything like that so I thought I would do two separate videos and you can watch both you can watch one or the other I just thought I would put them in two separate videos because I have a lot of books here to share with you and it would have been an hour long so without further ado we are going to dive right in I hope you guys enjoy and carry on watching so first I'm going to show you the few little things I got that weren't actually books but are book related and then I'm going to go into all the actual books. So the first thing I got was actually from Ryan's mum and she got me this blanket and I don't know how I'm going to be able to show it to you um, but it just says just a girl who loves books. Can you see it? Probably not but this is what I got. I absolutely love it. It is so soft as well and I just think it's lovely just to have something like this just to throw on in the evenings so I love my blanket. And then something my mum and dad got me. They bought me this book kind of pocket I guess. I said that I really wanted some of these to protect my books while I'm out and about um, and my Kindle and things so it's a really beautiful kind of like I don't know what you would call this, like a book protective sleeve, I guess. It also has a pocket at the front, so you can put your Kindle in the front and a book in the back. And as you guys can see, it has got my name on it as well. I absolutely love this. So cute. And I feel a very big addiction coming on with these because I feel like I'm going to want loads of different patterns and stuff. So I absolutely love this. I then got a key ring from Ryan's brother and his fiance, and it says bookworm on it. I don't know whether you guys are going to be able to see it or if my camera is going to focus, but it's a really cute key. Ring. I love this it's gonna go straight on my keys after this video and then lastly I got two bookmarks the first one was from my auntie and uncle and it's from the Jamaica Inn in Cornwall they go there quite a lot so they picked this up for me it's so cute and it's giving me like super pirate vibes so I absolutely love that one and the second bookmark was one that my mum picked up from a kind of Christmas fair and it looks like this it's a really beautiful kind of bookmark with a heart on it can you see I hope you can see but it's really pretty I absolutely absolutely love this so I can't wait to use that for my books. So those were all of the non-book bookish items I was gifted and now moving on to all of the physical books that I got. I got quite a lot of books I think there's roughly around 40 books here so I am so incredibly grateful and thankful for every single book I was given. I'm going to be doing these in no particular order they are all just piled in front of me right now so I'm just going to be grabbing them showing you them. I don't really know what a lot of these are going to be about but all I know is that 99.9 of these I've all been on my wish list for a very long time. So let's dive into the physical books. So the first one we have is Betting on You by Lynn Painter. I absolutely love Lynn Painter. I really enjoyed Better Than the Movies, so I'm excited for this one. Then we have Faking with Benefits by Lily Gold. This was one of the only ones of this series that I couldn't get from Waterstone. So my mum ordered this for me on Amazon and I'm so excited to give it a read. Then we have Unravel Me by Becca Mack. This is part of the playing for keeps series and I'm really gutted because as gorgeous as these covers are she's just released three new covers for each of the books and they are so beautiful that I am tempted to repurchase but I just can't keep doing it so I'm really thankful for this it is just typical that they keep making new copies of this but I'm very excited about this one we then have a book by Scarlett St. Clair and that is Mountains Made of Glass this is a fairy tale retelling and I was really excited about this although I'm not gonna lie this book was $8.99 from Waterstones but can we talk about how small it is like I just don't understand why books are smaller than the same price but I'm really excited to read this one anyway. The next two books are by Kennedy Ryan. We have The Rebel King and The Kingmaker. This is part of I believe it's The Kingmaker series. There is a third book which I have ordered. It's currently out in hardback so I'm obviously waiting for the paperback. I am really excited to give these a read and the covers are just so beautiful that I just had to put them on my Christmas wish list because I just cannot wait so I'm really excited about these. The next one we have is Still Beating by Jennifer Hartman. I have heard really, really incredible things about this book and it has been on my Amazon wish list for over a year easily. So I thought, you know what? Now is the time, let's ask for it for Christmas. The flop is amazing and I just cannot wait to dive in. I'm pretty sure this is part of a series with Lotus and maybe another one. So if you guys know, please let me know down below because I'm not actually sure which order I need to read this in. So I'd love to know down below. The next seven books are all from my friend Kelsey. Every year she sends me a few books for my birthday 
him for Christmas. I say a few books. She sent me seven books, which is insane. So these are the ones she got me. So she got me Holly, Renee, A Kingdom of Stars and Shadows. I have heard incredible things about this series. And again, it's been on my wish list for such a long time. So I'm so excited to read this one. We then have A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. Again, I've heard incredible things. And it's just been on my wish list for so long that I kind of forgot about it. And when she ordered it for me, I remembered how excited I was to read this. So that is the next one. We then have a book by Crystal Keswell, and that is The Best Friend Bargain. I am pretty sure this is part of a series, but it's kind of like a standalone series, if that makes sense. There's a few with this sort of similar color, color? cover design, and I'm really, really excited about this one. I think this is about a tattoo artist, I think. I could be wrong, but I saw a quote on Instagram, fell in love, and I added it to my wish list, so I am excited for that. We then have The Upside of Falling by Alex Light, and I believe this is a Wattpad kind of book, which I'm really excited about. It's a very small book, and it's only 259 pages, so I cannot wait to dive into this. Such a nice, light-hearted, easy read, so I'm looking forward to that one. We then have Megan Quinn's Vacation Wars. I, again, didn't know this book existed until I saw it, I think, on somebody else's video, and I thought, Do you know what, I need to give this a go and I cannot wait it looks like such a fun and light-hearted book so I cannot wait to give that one a go next up we have never have I ever by Stephanie Alves 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 I'm not too sure this one I again have had on my wishes for ages and it is part of a new series that she's doing I think the second one is spin the bottle so I'm gonna have to pick that one up for sure this one it just looks so cute I absolutely love the cover I'm not gonna lie the cover definitely drew me in like even the back is just beautiful so so again, I cannot wait to read this one. And the last book Kelsey got me for Christmas and my birthday is The Lost Girls by Sonia Hartle. I believe this is like a female version of The Lost Boys and I love that film so, so much. So as soon as I saw that on um, Amazon, I just had to put it in my basket. It looks adorable. It's a hardback. I absolutely love it. So I cannot wait to dive into this one. Moving back onto books that my mum and dad got me for Christmas, we have got Wish Lists and Road Trips by Lauren May. I believe this one was from the works. I think I picked this one up along with two others that mum found and thought I would really enjoy so I'm excited to give this one a read it looks like a very nice summer read so I might save this one for the kind of spring and summertime but I cannot wait to give this one a go the next book is by Kelsey Miller and this is I'll Be There For You the one about friends we actually spotted this in WH Smith's a few weeks ago and it was only five pounds and I seen it and I thought oh my god what is that and mum said oh, I'll just get it for you for Christmas so I'm excited to read this one I think this is about somebody who worked on the Friends set maybe? I'm not actually too sure but I'm really excited to give this one a read if you guys don't know. I am a massive Friends advocate and so is Ryan so I cannot wait to read this one. A book which has been highly requested is Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. I really wanted this one because I am planning on doing a read sad books with me for a week sort of video and I'm hoping to read that in this one. Read this in that one is what I meant um, and I cannot wait to dive in so that is that one. Next up is a book by Lauren Asher and that is Love Redesigned. I absolutely love Lauren Asher so incredibly much and as soon as I knew she was bringing out a new series I thought right I'm gonna ask for this for Christmas because I just cannot wait. I'm pretty sure you can get this from the works now so definitely have a little look but this one I'm not too sure on the kind of synopsis of it but I am just so so excited to dive into the series. A semi new release is Check and Mate by Ali Hazelwood this one is her first YA novel which I cannot wait to dive into. I have heard very mixed reviews about this book though. A lot of people have said they absolutely love it, some people not so much so I cannot wait to read it and see what I think but I am really looking forward to it. I know it's very chess heavy so I'm going into it knowing that but I cannot wait to dive into it anyway. The next book is one of those books that I saw one single quote on Instagram and I instantly wanted to buy it and that is The Wicked in Me by Suzanne Wright. I am a little bit annoyed actually because I remember I went to 66 books and I swear I saw the hardcover of this which would have been a lot cheaper but never mind um this one I don't actually have a clue what it's about all I know is that I saw a quote and I really enjoyed the quote so I wanted it for Christmas <laughs> which is basically the situation with a lot of these books I see a quote I will add it to my wish list and then I hope to get it for Christmas and that is what this one was a book which my mum has been telling me over and over again to definitely get my hands on and I've just been putting it off and I 
don't really know why. The film has come out. My mum absolutely loved it. I've not seen the film and I just haven't had the itch to read this book. But I know so many people have loved it. And that is Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuinston. This was actually part of a paperback deal, which you can see the sticker. I need to take that off from WH Smith. They're two for £12. So definitely go and have a look. This one, I believe, is about two royals. The Prince of Wales and America's first son. And they fall in love. I'm very excited about that one. So that one, I think my mum's going to be very thrilled when I read this one. Along with that one, my mum also picked up a book by Rebecca Yaros. And that is The Things We Leave Unfinished. I am really excited about this one. She saw the cover and thought it was really nice and said, do you think you'd like this one? And I was like, do you know what? Just get it. I'm sure I'll love it. So I'm excited to give this one a read. Moving on to a few books which Ryan's mum picked up for me. The first one is Rewrite Our Story by Kat Singh. Singleton. I absolutely loved Black Ties and White Lies by Kat Singleton and I cannot wait to read this one. It has been on my wish list for a very long time simply because the cover is absolutely beautiful. I love the look of this one but I also loved Kat Singleton's writing so I cannot wait to dive into this. She also picked up Wicked by Piper Lawson. Now when I tell you that this cover is the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen you guys are not ready. How beautiful is this cover it is so lovely i absolutely love it there is a second book to this as well so i am going to get my hands on that one too this one i believe is like a rock star romance so i cannot wait to dive in i've not read many of those so i'm excited to give it a try and the third book that she picked up for me was twisted by renee rocco this is the grim tower part one i'm very excited to dive into this one this is oh it's like a rapunzel retelling this is very exciting i actually had no idea what this is about but i did have this on my wish list for a long time so so I'm excited about that. Moving back onto books which my mum and dad picked up for me. The next one we have is The Graham Effect, which I believe is part of the Off Campus like spin-off series. I am yet to read Off Campus, so I really need to dive into that ASAP. But I believe this one is about their children, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm really excited about that one. We then have The Worst Best Man by Lucy Score. I read Things We Never Got Over and Maggie Moves On, I think both within a few months ago, if that makes sense. And I absolutely loved both of those books so much. So I have a few Lucy School books here which I'm so excited to dive into so this is one of them and I love the cover and I know that the works definitely have this in stock now so go and check your the works if you have one. I then have four books by Rena Kent. I actually picked up a few of these myself back in I think it was my biggest haul ever which was like a month or so ago and I knew there were a few more books I really wanted to kind of finish that collection so I did ask for them for Christmas so we have the Royal Elite epilogue which is book seven in the Royal Elite series we then have Black Knight which is again part of that series which is book four we also have Ruthless Empire which is book six and then we have Vicious Prince which is book five I've done these all in the wrong order so you have book five book six <laughs> book four and book seven. So I think that's it for that series now, which I'm really excited about. I do really want to get hold of all of Rena Kent's backlog because I've heard so many good things about her series. Is, series? Is, series it kind of all interconnects I'm pretty sure so I am hoping to kind of pick up more as the time goes on but I absolutely love these covers and I just had to finish the series so I'm really grateful to have these. The next two books were both from the works and these are both by Melissa Pimentel I think that's how you pronounce the name. One is The One That Got Away and the other is Love by the Book. My mum picked these up for me she loved the covers and I'm really excited to read them they look really adorable so I cannot wait to give those a try. If you guys watched my massive book haul a few months ago you would have seen that I got book one and two in the series and I asked for books three and four to kind of complete it for Christmas and that is what is the series called I can't even think the natural series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes and this is All In and Bad Blood which is book three and four so I can't wait to dive into the series I am just really looking forward to it I've heard nothing but good things about it but I wanted to wait until I had book three and four so that I could binge the whole thing so that is book three and four I feel like the next two books don't need any explanation so I'm just going to show you them obviously I had to get my hands on these for Christmas this is Redeeming Six and Saving Six books three and four in the Boys of Tomlin series have I read book one and two no I have not do I know if I love it no however I feel like because Larry Reads loves it I'm gonna love it so I got books three and four and book five I think comes out really soon as well so I have that back ordered and I cannot wait to dive into this series they are absolutely stunning the covers are beautiful I'm just really excited to finally have these so that is books three and four do I know what they're about no I do not 
but I am very excited anyway. Similarly with those two books, I also asked for books three and four in the Magnolia Parks Daisy Hates universe and again book five does come out very very soon so I have Daisy Hates The Great Undoing and Magnolia Parks The Long Way Home. Again, have I read books one and two? Absolutely not. Do I have two versions? of this series now yes I do but I'm very excited nonetheless so I can't wait to dive into this two more books by Lucy Score I've got Protecting What's Mine and Finally Mine again the first book of this series or was it the third book I can't remember which book I picked up it was Pretend You're Mine but I don't remember which one that is in the series I picked that up a few months ago when I went to Waterstones so I wanted to get my hands on these two the only thing I hate with this is like that is printed on that is just really annoying but we're going to look past it. I'm very excited to give these a read. Do I know what these are about? No, I do not, but I'm very excited anyway. We then have a release by Sophie Lark, and that is Bloody Heart. This is part of the Brutal Birthright series, which is like a dark mafia series. I have been slowly collecting these. These are like the new printed versions, I believe. They did release them a while ago on like Amazon and stuff, but they have been picked up by Bloom, so they're kind of redoing the covers and stuff. I think this is book can't remember which book this is book four so there are two more coming out which I cannot wait to get my hands on but the cover of this is just stunning I absolutely love it and the other ones are just so beautiful I'll show you on the back if you guys can see they are absolutely stunning and I cannot wait to have the full series on my bookshelves because they just look amazing and the last two books are paperbacks and then I have a couple hardbacks to share and then we are done so the next two books are both by Rena Kent and this is part of the Legacy of God series which I now know the fifth book has been released so I'm gonna have to pick it up the first one is God of Wrath and then we have God of Ruin I think I picked up the other two in my massive book haul video so definitely go and watch that if you guys want to see it but I'm so so excited to dive into the series I've heard nothing but incredible things so I feel like I'm just gonna have to binge them all in one go and see what I think so let me know if you guys want a reading vlog of these because I will definitely do one so last but not least we are going on to all of the hardback books I got I only have six here to share with you which I feel like I used to absolutely hate hardbacks however now that I know that when you read it you don't crack the spine I feel like I absolutely love them now so the first one is fourth wing which you might be thinking Melody don't you already have this yes I do but this is a special edition have I read the original no I have not but I feel like I needed this anyway so this is the first book I have no idea really what it's about because I haven't actually read the first one so I don't really know I'm really excited to read it though but it's got some really beautiful kind of drawings inside so I'm thoroughly excited about that so that is the first one I asked for for Christmas sticking with that theme I also asked for Iron Flame for Christmas again I haven't read the first one I could absolutely hate it but here we are this I believe you can actually get from the works now for maybe 11 pounds or so so definitely go and check that out but I'm so excited to dive into this one a book which took the internet by storm I had to ask for for Christmas and that is is Rebecca Ross Divine Rivals. Firstly the cover absolutely beautiful I think it's so stunning I don't even know what this one is about but all I know is that everybody absolutely fell in love with it so I needed to give it a go myself and the second one of this is now out and available so I'm gonna have to pick that one up soon I think because it just looks beautiful absolutely stunning as I have mentioned in a few videos if you guys don't know me you won't know I am a massive friends advocate I absolutely love friends and when we heard about Matthew Perry passing away I knew that I needed to get this book and give it a read and that is Matthew Perry's memoir which is friends lovers and the big terrible thing I am so excited to give this a read I feel like it's going to be very hard hitting and emotional but I'm so excited to read it and kind of learn more about his past and things like that so I cannot wait to dive into this one one. A book which I was going to wait until the paperback came out but when I spotted this in Waterstones I had to get it and you guys all know why. So this is A Curse for True Love by Stephanie Garber which is the third book in the Once Upon a Broken Heart sort of trilogy. I think it's a trilogy anyway but I saw this and I thought well this is nice and I wondered why it was purple and the rest of them that I seen there were red but I opened it up and I saw that this has the most beautiful cover like a lot of hardbacks nowadays like they don't have this on the inside especially ones that I get like they're all just plain on the inside but as soon as I saw that I had to pick this up so when I say I had to pick it up I picked it up and asked for it for Christmas so very excited about that one and the last book in this absolutely gigantic Christmas book haul we have Throne of the Fallen by Carrie Maniscalco this is part of the Kingdom of the Wicked series I believe this is 
in the boys perspective i could be wrong i am so incredibly excited to read this series i am trying to finish a lot of series that i've started which is why i haven't started this yet but i cannot wait to dive into this series i am so excited i know that my friend kelsey didn't like it but i'm so excited to dive in anyway so this is the fourth book i believe part of a different perspective cannot wait to dive in so that is the last book i am done Yay. So those are all of the incredible books and bookish things I was ever so kindly gifted for Christmas. If you guys know me, you will know that I am not bragging, showing off or anything like that. I am so incredibly grateful for every single gift I was given for Christmas. If you guys haven't seen my original What I Got For Christmas, go and check it out. This is just the bookish edition. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do as I would really appreciate it. And that is everything. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.